Smile Direct Club is down over 40% today in reaction to news that the company is filing Chapter 11 bankruptcy as part of an initiative to reorganize its financials. So the one glimmer of hope that this stock still has is that they filed Chapter 11, not Chapter 7. Chapter 7 is basically when you're shutting down a business and just liquidating assets. Chapter 11 bankruptcy is basically when you're trying to reorganize assets and keep the business running. So Smile Direct Club announced a recapitalization transaction to bolster its balance sheet as bankruptcy proceedings get underway. Per the terms, the founders of this company have pledged at least $20 million for the company to ensure its near and long-term financial health. Up to $60 million of additional funding will be available subject to conditions including the, the completion of marketing process. So, this company is obviously under um, under a huge amount of pressure. The company's in shambles. Won't lie to you there, but is this company going to die? And the the jury's still out on that because you know companies like Apple have filed for, for bankruptcy and have sur- survived. So it happens, right? There's there's companies that file for bankruptcy and do come back. Um, so what I'll do in this video is I'll go through the financials of this company. At the end of the video, I will give a price prediction and I'll cover short interest. So we'll talk about if this company is, you know, likely to kind of stay afloat. And first off, let's talk about short interest. So it's worth noting that shares were down almost 60% in the pre-market and are now down just 40%. So the company has 24% of the float sold short, roughly 2.6 days to cover. And Fintel ranks it out as the top 500 stocks to have a short squeeze. So Fintel basically ranks out every single stock within the market um, as a you know high uh, in in terms of a likelihood of a short squeeze. So the stock ranks in the top 11% of the market in terms of high likelihood to have a short squeeze. And then it's also worth noting that there are zero shares available to be shorted at this point in time. So right now, there are zero shares available to be shorted. And it's also worth noting that the short borrow fee rate is 25%, which for those that don't know, this is the the rate that investors charge short sellers to short their stock. So definitely pretty high because the average short borrow fee rate is anywhere from 0.3 to 3%. So to be well above average here signals that it's very expensive to short this stock. And then with that being said, let's take a look at this company's financials. So obviously the company doesn't make any money. We probably wouldn't be here if the company was making money. Um, But it's worth noting that they have a price to book ratio of 0.25, which for those that don't know, that basically tells you that the book value is four times the value of the company's market market cap. Um, So that signals that the company's assets on its balance sheet are actually, um, you know, pretty uh, valuable relative to its market cap and the company has a five-year average book value of 2.2 so definitely signaling that the company is trading at a discount relative to its book value and then let's take a look at the growth numbers for this company so we see that revenue growth has been declining significantly we saw a 23 percent drop in revenue over the past 12 months which is a stark contrast compared to smile directs five-year average of 36 percent growth for revenue and then revenue over the next 12 months is projected to drop about eight percent so obviously you know never good to see a stock that doesn't make money have declining revenue Um, that's definitely playing a factor into why the stock is going bankrupt and it's also worth noting that the company has 69 percent gross profit margin which um is for those that don't know, it's basically just a revenue minus cost of goods sold. It tells you what a company makes for what it sells. The 69% is actually right in line with the company's five-year average of 69% for gross profit margin. So overall, gross profit margin um, is basically right where it was over the past five years. And it's worth noting that the company has 22 cents in cash per share. So they're, they're trading at about nine cents per share right now. So that tells you that the market cap um, is significantly below the value of the cash on hand for this company. 
But when we take a look at their cash relative to debt, we understand why. So the company has $28 million in cash, but they have $883 million in debt. So this tells us that the company has a significant amount more debt than cash, which is definitely worth noting because um, in a in a bankruptcy, those um, creditors, those people who lent out money to this company are going to get paid out before the equity will get paid out. So, um, you know, if you're a bondholder of this company, you you lent out money to them, right? You're going to get paid out before the equity holders, before the stockholders will get paid out. So this $28 million in cash is going to likely go right to the creditors of this company so that doesn't provide much um, you know safety for investors and it's also worth noting that um, their net operating cash flow over the past 12 months has been minus 129 million dollars which basically says that this company is burning cash at an extremely high pace which makes it hard to kind of keep the company afloat obviously so the high cash burn um, combined with the declining revenue, combined with the high uh, debt load, is really causing this company to, um, you know, really be um, going bankrupt. <laughs> so, obviously, like I said, bankruptcy doesn't mean that the company's stock is going to go to zero instantly. In fact, it almost never does. It it does mean that the stock is likely to go to zero, yes, but it doesn't mean that it's kind of end of days for this company. In fact. There have been many successful companies climb their way out of bankruptcy, Apple being one of them. So the question is, will that happen here? Well, it's worth noting that we fell below 30 cent support, which is where shares bottomed in December. And it's roughly where shares bottomed in May and we bottomed in, in September of this year. So um, below all major levels of support and we're obviously you know trading at lows here. And the stock is massively oversold. The last time we were this oversold was actually in December of this year. And we saw shares rebound after that. And then the last time we were oversold before that was um, when shares were at about $1.27. Then they rocketed to about $1.50 over the coming days. So the stock in its history has reacted positively to oversold conditions. Obviously, um, you know we're we're fighting bankruptcy here, so this this situation is like no other for the stock. And it's worth noting that this is a stock that IPO'd um, during kind of the COVID um, regime of low rates. So the stock IPO'd at you know roughly eighteen dollars, and has been falling ever since. Um, so I definitely do think this stock is you know the the classic stock that was able to come public because of low interest rates and now since rates have risen so quickly the stock is being left in a really tough spot fiscally so from a financial standpoint this company is not in a good spot from a chart standpoint it's not in a good spot it the kind of the one saving grace you have is we have oversold conditions which the stock has reacted positively to but in my opinion this is a company that is likely going to see its stock you know, be worthless, unfortunately. Obviously, um, you know, there have been companies that have fought their way out of it. But to be frank, when you're burning $130 million a year and you have a massive debt load of almost a billion dollars and only $20 million in cash, it's tough to survive. So de declining revenue as well in this company. Um, so I uh, Honestly, um, this is not a stock that I would want to own, and I do think it is likely that shares likely move to zero dollars, although I wouldn't be shocked if we saw somewhat of a bounce off of oversold conditions for the stock, not saying we're going to 30 cents or anything, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a nice little bounce from this stock you know, over the next couple of days in reaction to oversold conditions. Um, but with that being said, I wouldn't want to touch this stock long term in any way, shape, or form. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will end it there.
Looking to learn more about the financial markets? Well, I just released a new course that will teach you everything you need to know about the stock market. You can find that at happyinvestingtoday.com. Also on the site, you can purchase one-on-one coaching sessions where I will break down your portfolio and to better assist traders when searching for setups, I'm selling trading bots, which will tell you how your trading strategy has performed historically on a stock, crypto, or currency that you are researching. If you would also like to see what me and my experienced trading team are doing on a day-to-day basis, join our Discord, which is linked below, for a free seven-day trial. With that being said, please leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you watching this video.